let me clean up the space here a little bit. All right. So what we want to do now is modify the main.js file. We're not using Blaze anymore, so we can get rid of all of this. And we can remove this here. OK. And we'll start fresh. So on our main file, we let's say we still want the head with the title the way it was before, but then we also want a body tag with welcome to meet your and this time will be ant view and we want a main tag here, right? So here this main tag is where we are going to load our view application. So we need this could be a main tag or a div with an ID of app or something. Um, anything that we can get a hold of, an element on the DOM that we can grab so we can have our view application living in there. Okay. So now on the main JS file, we want to first import Meteor. And this has to be destructured. It kind of looks funky, I know. Import Meteor from Meteor, Meteor. So now we also want View to be imported. And so you'll notice that Meteor Startup is available to us now. This is how we, well, start up our application in Meteor. But then it does have a callback that we can use to mount our view application. OK. So if you're familiar with view, and I'm kind of assuming you are, you'll notice that we are bootstrapping the application or creating the application as normal, the way you would do it in another environment. OK. And then, so here we need to create a component, which is app component, and we're going to pass that to this h render function. And finally, we want to mount this into our main element. All right. So let's say we want to import that app component. Let's import that from the imports folder UI and then app.view. All right. Awesome. So we now need to create this app.view file. And so let's do create the imports UI app dot view. Right. So you'll notice we created this UI folder within imports and then the app that view folder right over here. So now let's do a quick application. All right, I'm going to save this. And we will fire up the application as well. A quick mention is you could actually have your Meteor application running the entire time while you were adding and removing your packages, and it will pick it up and update them, which is really cool. But OK, let's see what the errors are here. Let's put this aside. OK, there is a place where we are using CSS, but we don't have that supported right now. So we need to either remove it or add support for SCSS. I'm just going to remove it for now so we can continue with what we were doing here. And that must be this over here. 
All right, let's see if that takes care of the problem. Okay. The application started again. Awesome. Let's refresh the page. Well, before I do that, you can see how the HMR hot module replacement is loading the client from that Acrium package and that the dev client is connected, which is a good sign. I'm going to refresh this page and we're going to notice another error here, this time in our console. Okay. What did I do wrong here? Ah, seems like I'm not writing proper view. Okay. So this should have been a data method that returns an object with the reactive data that you want for your view app. Sorry about that. All right. So now you can see we have the HMR hot module replacement for view. You are using view 2.6.11, which is the one that we had in our package. Dot JSON. If I go here, this is it. All right. And then you're in development mode. So all of this here is view right and it's it's working 